Time now for a response from the Trump campaign. Joining us from Dallas is Katrina Pearson, a spokeswoman for Donald Trump. So, we began the show by talking about the media hammering your boss for bringing up the thoroughly investigated uh, Vince Foster suicide in 1993. And I know the Washington Post raised it with him first, but why go there? Well, I mean, it's quite simple, Howie. I mean, look, Mr. Trump answers questions by the media. This is nothing new. And when you have a candidate like Hillary Clinton who is riddled with scandal, whether it's Whitewater, Travelgate, Benghazi, emails for that matter, when he's asked, he's going to respond. And look, it's not Donald Trump's responsibility to protect Hillary Clinton on any scandal. Well, that suggests that she has some responsibility on the Vince Foster death, which I don't think there's any evidence for that. But since you pivoted very uh, adeptly to Hillary Clinton, let me play for you a soundbite. This is uh, Donald Trump uh, talking to Bill O'Reilly the other night and raising questions about uh, Hillary Clinton's own television appearances. Let's watch. She goes on very few shows, and I noticed the other night she was on a show, and they gave her set-up questions, and they negotiate their questions. I don't think you can ever say that I negotiate my questions with you. So Hillary Clinton had been on Meet the Press and CNN in the days before that. What evidence does he have that anyone has given her any set of questions in advance? Well, a lot of the media actually talks about this. And early on in the campaign, when Mrs. Clinton was on the campaign trail, she wasn't doing any media interviews. And I can't remember the last time she's gone on a Fox program, uh, particularly O'Reilly, Hannity, even Megyn Kelly, for that matter. She does do these softball interview questions. And no one asks her the tough questions in the media. And I heard your, your segment earlier talk with CNN actually doing the, the cover-up work for Hillary Clinton when it comes to the things that Mr. Trump is saying. They're going out of their way to defend her without her defending herself. Wait, wait i gotta, I got to push back on this. So you're saying that CNN's Jake Tapper, by stating that there have been several investigations of Vince Foster's death and that it, it's, it's been just debunked that the Clintons had anything to do with this sad tragedy, is covering up for Hillary Clinton? I don't follow. No, they're defending. They're constantly defending. There are several anchors on many of the other networks who are constantly defending Hillary Clinton, whether it's a scandal or even with the emails, for that matter. And you just don't see that on the other side. We have known for a very long time that Republicans have a tough time in the media, particularly in a presidential election. And Donald Trump is that kind of candidate that they're having trouble fighting back against because he does stand up for himself and he defends himself. And he's not going to be silenced by the mainstream media. Well, you can characterize uh, the interviews any way you want. She certainly has done far fewer than Donald Trump, but I don't know that she's gotten any questions in advance. All right, so New York Times, big piece this weekend. I'm sure you read it. Scuffles are roiling the Trump campaign, growing sense of paranoia, internal combat has undermined the daily message. And when the two uh, Times reporters asked for comment, they got a statement that said, to Ashley Parker and Maggie Haberman, you two wouldn't know how to write a good story about me if you tried. Dream on. What about the substance of the Times Peace. Well, look, I've been hearing since Mr. Trump entered this race, the Trump campaign is in turmoil. Uh, the staff is not getting along. Howie, we just beat 16 other candidates. Mr. Trump is the Republican nominee. That is true. We're now building out. We are now building out to a national team. So these types of, uh, of reports are just, they're just false. There are going to be times when everyone is talking and, and even consulting with each other that may agree or disagree, but that doesn't mean that there's something is intrinsically wrong with the campaign. Uh, but more importantly, we hear a lot of these sources come from, quote unquote, anonymous people inside the campaign, uh, which I have to challenge because a lot of the things that I have heard coming from these anonymous sources are flat out false. Well, every campaign I've ever covered has internal tensions, and often the press feasts on that, sometimes blows it up. But interesting tweet from, uh, from Donald Trump uh, about this, or he had a, a series of them. Don't believe the biased and phony media quoting people who work for my campaign. The only quote that matters is a quote from me. But what about other people that are quoted? What about when we talk to you? Well, I think the key term there is phony. Um, as I mentioned, you have these anonymous sources supposedly inside the campaign, and those are just phony reports, and that's what Mr. Trump is talking about. If they're quoting fo uh, people who don't have a name, then that's a problem. We consider that to be phony. And I'm giving you that answer as the national campaign spokesperson. Mr. Trump was speaking specifically to those phony reports. All right. Well, I'm skeptical of unnamed sources uh, as well. But if uh, I see <laughs> names attached, <laughs> it has a little more credibility. If I see you say it on camera, Absolutely. then I take it a little more seriously. Kat, great to see you. Thanks for stopping by this Sunday. Great to be here.